when pricing, there are three key factors. Okay? Three key factors when it comes to pricing. Una is value. Pangalo is needs. Market. Value, needs, and market. Ito ang three factors na you need to consider when pricing. Okay? Value, very subjective yan. Di ko pwedeng sabihin kung magkano ka. Di ko pwedeng sabihin kung magkano ang value mo. Okay? Needs, yan ang pwede natin alamin. Needs, ano ang needs? Personal. And business. I want you guys to know your numbers. Ah. Compute it. Magkano ang ginagasos mo on a per, uh, personally every month? Personal, ah. separate ang business and personal. How much do you spend on a monthly basis? And then, how much do you spend for your business or for your freelance career every month? Hiwalay mo yun. Separate it. May number kayo? Please, do the activity, guys. Find these numbers, huh? Okay, tayo? Or di pa? James? Okay. Monique? Ito muna, don't focus on this one yet. Focus dito muna. Know your numbers. Okay. Let's move on. Sinabi ko na hindi ko pwedeng i-dictate kung ano ang value nyo. Only you can say it. Only you can define your own personal value. Ang mga factors dyan, some of the factors are skill, kung gano'ng ka -ka kagaling sa ginagawa mo. That's why you're here, you're training. Yung skill mo, ine-enhance mo, dinedevelop mo. Expertise, gano'ng ka ka-expert? Sa crowd na to, bakit ikaw, bakit ikaw ang kukunin in business si James? Bakit si James ang kukunin in business na ikaw? How good at kung ako ang client, why would I pick you over James? Are you that expert? If I don't see you as an expert, then mababa ang value mo. Kung mataas ang tingin ko kay James dahil expert siya, mataas ang value niya for me. That is why sinabi ko kanina when you are dealing with clients as much as possible, pantay kayo. Okay? Ito ang maling notion na ginagawa ng mga freelancers ngayon. Ah. Kapag may client sila, inisip nila, boss sila. Boss yung client nila. Empleyado sila. No. The reason why clients are hiring you because they need you. Mutual understanding yun. Dapat pantay kayo. Hindi sila boss mo, hindi ka nila empleyado. Okay? Kasi once you think that way, mag-iiba ang pananaw mo when it comes to dealing with clients. Doon din lumalabas ang expertise. Okay? Demand. How in demand are you? Nilalang ako ka ba? Uh, buwan buwan o puno yung schedule mo? Kasi kapag mataas ang demand mo, tendency, syempre, mataas ang demand, bababa ang supply, what do you do? Tataas ng price. Basic economics. Kapag bababa ang demand, mataas ang supply, bababa ang pressure, di ba? Demand and supply. And then marketing. How do you position yourself? How do you market yourself? Paano nyo, paano nyo ako nakilala? Monique, paano mo ako nakilala? James, paano mo ako na, nakilala? Marielle, paano mo ako nakilala? Facebook. Because marketing. Diba? Why did you come here? Di nyo ako kilala. First time na tayo nagkakilala. But why are you here? Marketing. Market positioning. Diba? Able to perceive my skill, my expertise, my demand, 
towards you that's that somehow sana made me valuable to you is that correct or nag illusion lang ako <laughs> pero if that's the case if you see me na tama tama you find me valuable then it means i am doing a good job with putting up my value okay and i will be more valuable to you at the end of this seminar and workshop just do your shit okay deal na and then of course your relationship with the people Pwedeng sobrang galing mo, sobrang expert mo, sobrang in-demand kang, galing mo mag-marketing, pero basura ka sa client mo. Basura ang trato mo sa kanila. Bababa ang value mo. Pero if you treat them well, treat them with respect, pero at the same time with the same level of confidentiality, ay, confidence, then, good. Okay? Nakakatuwa. Sino ba sanabi ko na, uh, uh, bagong member ako ng PRA? And then, uh, nakakatuwa kasi yung, yung isa doon, si Ma'am Evelyn, Halos parang BFFs kami. Not BFFs, pero nakakatawa kasi ang tight namin, close namin. Pati yung mga subordinates niya na nagiging ka-close ko rin. Ayan. Pag nagkaka-email kami sa gabi, <laughs> sabi niya, matanda na siya. Nag-good night pa siya. Tulog na tayo, good night. Parang, diba, parang weird. <laughs> Tulog na tayo, good night. Mat- matanda na siya. Mga 60 plus na yun. Yeah. Pero diba, it's that, you know, uh, ang an- laki ng bilid niya sa akin kasi Ang bata ko pa daw, pero andun ako. Di ba? <laughs> Tapos, uh, nakatawa din kasi yung isang client ko, uh, president, siya ng, president siya ng isang organization. Uh, COO siya, CFO siya ng mga ibang company. Okay kami makipag-usap, makipag-negotiate. I have that respect for him, pero I don't feel like I am an employee. I don't feel like he is my boss. I idolize him, mentor ko siya. Parang somehow, na idolize ko siya. Pero hindi ganun kalayo yung agwat namin. Di ba? Kaya nga sinabi ko kanina, babatukan ko kayo kapag hindi kayo nag-direct at nag-lead. Kasi the only way you can get there is if you are confident enough. Chest out, chin up, di ba? Saba kayo with respect. And that is what, uh, side, side kwento lang, that is what avant-garde means. It's a group of culturally advanced creative individuals who are the leaders of the art movement. Yun ang vision ko, may mission. That is why I started Avantgarde. Avantgarde Creatives, Avantgarde Live, na naging Al Creative Learning. Because of that very definition. I want to breed and grow and develop a community of highly respected creative leaders. Kaya yun. I gave you the 20%, you just need to take and do the 80%. Oxpen? Now, third pricing. Pricing factor is the market. What if sabihin natin ang value ko, sabihin natin per project, I want 50,000 professional fee. Ang needs ko for my business and personal, 30,000. 80,000 ang fee ko, ang, ang price ko, di ba? Market. 80,000 ang fee ko. Pero what if tatay ko ang nag-request ng favor? Sisingiling ko ba siya ng 80,000? Libre lang. Di ba? Pero paano pag si Chris Aquino ang nag invite sa akin. 80,000 ba ang bibigay ko? Diba? 10 times. 800,000. Or di naman. Eto, 3 times lang. 240,000. Mga ganun. That is what, where market comes in. And that is also factor din ng value yun. You have to consider your value, your needs. Needs fixed yan. Ito, when pricing, kung magkano ang makuha mong, kung magkano ang lumabas dito, ito dapat ang minimum mo. Pero divide it by the number of clients that you wish to do every month. Fixed yan. Sino yung sabi nun? Uh, Mariel, nagkweto ko kanina, di ba? Sabi mo kinukuha ka to picture, picture a farm. Yes. 5,000, ginawang 3,000. <laughs> di ba? Happy ka ba dun? Hindi. 3,000, pamasahe mo pa lang yun, di ba? Kaya. Pamasahe pag kaya. Ano, uh, sabi niya, isasabay niya na lang daw ako sa pick-up. Kasi nag-aask ako ng uh. transport fee. Sabi niya. Tapos di daw, parang di daw kaya. Kasi nag-start pa lang siya. Eh, hmm. Parang, ang trabaho naman ng misis niya, parang president sa isang company. Mm. Tapos, <laughs> nag-start up pa lang tayo ng misis. Bullshit. <laughs> so, kung magkano alam mo ba dito, divide it by the number of clients na you wish to do every month, na kaya mo, alam mo kaya mo, yun ay average mo every month, fixed yun. Hindi pwedeng bumaba yun. Kasi kapag may kumuha sa'yo na ganun kababa yung price, sabihin natin ha, 
ang uh, needs mo dito is sabi natin 12,000 a month fixed yon 12,000 a month for sabi natin two three client i three clients a month three projects so all in all 36,000 ang monthly opex mo 12,000 kapag may nag-offer sa iyo ng 10,000 will you take it lugi ka pa maghahabol ka pa para makuha mo yung extra 2,000 pambayad lang ng renta ng internet ng kuryente mo okay wali na ba tayo doon if you go down even below this one, lumalulugi ka. Mag kasi maghahabol ka ng isa pang client na hindi mo naman dapat kailangan. Maghahabol ka ng isa pang client para lang hindi malugi yung sarili mo at yung business mo. Okay? So, pricing mo dapat at least this one. So, so paano i-deal yung ganong client? So, pag ganun ba, pwede nang tanggihan Most of the time, yes, tatanggihan mo. Pero you have to also assess their value to you. Kapag tinanggap mo yung project na yan, what will you get? Short-term money lang. Pero what is beyond it? What is beyond it? Ano pa ang pwede mo makuha sa kanya? Sabihin natin, client kita, uh, I'm charging my services for 10,000 pesos. Kinuha mo ako for 8,000 pesos. Pero alam kong kakilala mo si, yeah, si Pia na may-ari ng isang company. Sabihin ko, Sige, sige, sige Mariel. I will agree. Pero pakilala mo kay sa kanya. Ba? Leverage. Pero kung wala kang ma-offer, I'd rather waste my time and spend my time looking for another client. Ba? Kasi if you take that project, if you take that that project, isipin ng client sa na mababa ka. Mababa ka impression mo. Tendency, sabihin nila, Uy, may, kil may, may kilala ko mababang presyo, kunin mo ito, puro mabababa ang makukuha mo. It's okay to say no. Alam ko na mahirap tumanggi ng project kasi pera yun. Diba? Pera din yun eh. Pero you have to also see, uh, think smarter. Think smarter. That is why I'm teaching you guys para kahit pa paano, you know, you know how to deal with it smarter na hindi ka natatakot na mawalan ng pera. Okay. Basta you try to do what I suggest that you guys do and mas tataas yung chances nyo compared to yesterday na totally zero blanco kayo. Diba? Okay. Understood? Once you get these pricing, yun. Uh, let's break it down. Okay. Understand these things? Nagto pa lang. Okay.